good morning all of you next we can discuss transversal okay it is very important transversal means uh, in a plane if uh, a trans they say on a plane transversal is a line it is a line this is a transversal transversal is a line that intersects a set of two or more lines here one line it is if the name of this line is m and if it is l and this transversal line l that intersect these two lines at two points okay such type of uh, lines are called the transversal lines okay in this figure the two lines m and l that is cut by another line l and they intersect at two points one here and one here okay this uh, here if it is more than two lines also it will be a transversal okay suppose here these lines if the line um, uh, name of this line is if it is x then x is a transversal to the line p q r if the name of these lines are all are lines okay so you want to mark this type with the arrow mark and here three lines okay three lines p q r cut by another line x and they meet uh, at uh, intersecting at two three points such type of lines are called a transversal okay so in this transversal line is l okay and the m and the n that two lines intersect at two points with the um, points of that l such type of lines are called a transversal line okay and when two lines cut by a transversal line l different angles are formed there okay different angles are formed there and that is a special names are there for each angles okay so first we want to discuss about that angles name of that angles suppose here how many angles are formed here in this intersecting point four angles in this also four angles are formed suppose this intersecting point if it is named as um, x okay and here this intersecting point if you mark it as y here four angles are formed there so we can mark name this angle as one here this angle is two three and four okay just like this angle is five six seven eight okay different eight angles are formed there very very important all of you care well if you not understand again you uh, watch the video again and try to understand what are the names of that each angles okay different types of angles are formed eight angles formed here and our eight angles have special names first we can discuss about interior angles okay interior from the name itself it is clear what is interior angle okay from these two these are the two lines m and l on in these two lines which are the interior part of these two lines will be this okay interior part will be this inside of that two lines and exterior part will be out of that two lines this this is the exterior part and this is another exterior part okay so what will be interior angles the angles formed on the interior part of the that plane okay so which are the interior angles angle 3 4 5 6 okay interior angles you want to understand which are the interior angles angle 3 4 5 6 just like next angles are exterior angle which are exterior angle in this that is very easy you can name that angle 1 2 and angle 7 and 8 they are exterior angles from the name itself it is very clear next is interior alternate angle okay what is interior alternate angle alternate means you know on the doubt, like, interior alternate angles so here that is that will be pair of angles interior al alternate angles that always we uh, name them as pairs so if you take the interior angles as four one interior angle four we take then its interior alternate angle will be which one angle six the six also interior but it is on the other side of the transversal so that two angles are one pair of interior alternate angles angle four angle six one pair of interior alternate angles 
another pair of interior alternate angles are angle 3 and angle 5. Okay, angle 3, angle 5 is another pair of, another set of interior alternate angles. Just like we can name in exterior alternate angle. Then which will be exterior alternate angle? Just like interior, we take any exterior angle. One exterior angle I took over angle 1. What will be its uh, alternate exterior angle? Then find out the alt, uh, in exterior angle on the other side of the transversal. So that is angle 7. Angle 1 and angle 7 is one pair. Angle 1, angle 7. Exterior uh, alternate angles. Angle 1 and angle 7. Just like what is the pair of exterior alternate angle of angle 2. Uh, angle 2 and it's opposite side. Okay, transversal opposite side it is 8. Angle 2 and angle 8. That is exterior alternate angles. Then another set of angles are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Very, very important. Okay. Don't miss this. All of you study today itself its name and which are that pairs of angles. Then using this we want to just some uh, property also we want to discuss about these angles, different angles, special angles. Before that you want to know which are that angles. Okay. Uh, then only you can understand its property. Next is corresponding angles. Corresponding angles mean that is also a pair of angles. Huh? That is on one side of the transversal, that is on the same angles. That is a pair of angles on the one side of the transversal. And another special is uh, if it is exterior uh, while the other will be interior. Suppose if we take angle 1, okay, then its corresponding angle will be angle 5. Is it angle 1 and angle 5? Now angle 1 is an exterior angle, but angle 5 is an uh, interior angle but they are both in the same side of this transversal so one pair of corresponding angles angle 1 and angle 5 for um, uh, understanding corresponding angles we want to just uh, think about their position okay in this case the position of angle is 1 so in this case the same position will be for which angle angle 5 okay such type of angles are called corresponding angles corresponding okay same position that you understand same position so here but there will be one difference if one is exterior other will be interior so what is the corresponding angle of one angle one its corresponding angle is angle five okay angle five another set what is the corresponding angle of four it will be angle eight okay angle four and angle eight now you look angle four is an interior angle but angle eight is exterior but both are in the same side of the transversal and when we consider these two angles or consider when we these two points intersecting points these both are in the same side same position okay now another set of corresponding angle you can say what is the corresponding angle of angle 2 uh, it is angle 6 angle 2 angle 6 another set of another pair of corresponding angles next is angle Ah, what is the corresponding angle of angle 3? Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3, angle 7. This, these are the important angles formed that two lines cut by a transversal. Okay, so what is by transversal line? The transversal in a plane, on a given plane, a transversal is a line that intersects, at the, intersects a set of two or more lines at a distinct points okay suppose we can take if m n and just like another any more lines if it is if then any if one transversal is cut by them then this line is called by transversal so here we are discussing about when two lines cut by a transversal different angles are formed and that angles have special names one is interior angle. Interior angle means the angles formed in the interior part of that two lines. Exterior angle is on the exterior part. The angles formed on the exterior part of that line. Then alternate interior angles means the one when we take the example as alternate interior angles. Angle 4 is 
alternate in these angles angle 6 angle 3 it's it will be angle 5 okay then alternate exterior angle exterior alternate exterior angle of 1 is uh, angle 7 alternate exterior angle of angle 2 is angle 8 next is corresponding angles corresponding angles means the angles formed on the same side of the transversal which is one is exterior and one is interior and you just think about the position of that angles okay so corresponding angles of angle one is angle five corresponding angle of four it is angle eight corresponding angle of two is angle six corresponding angle of three is angle seven these are the main important angles formed very very important and next class we can study the properties of these angles Okay, thank you.